Good morning and welcome back to Steve's Project Car Garage. My name is Steve. Sitting behind me is the rear wing of my 1969 Tram Spitfire tanker. And today I'm gonna to be cleaning it up a little bit and then also working on the B post section again. So I can go ahead and clean the metal up there as well. So I can get prepared to go ahead and refit the wing to the car. Stick around, it should be a good video. So if you've been around for a while, you'll remember when I removed this uh, wing, um, there were some very choice words being used because I ended up having to cut it off as opposed to uh, taking it off like I did on the passenger side. Um, and so as a result, I ended up really messing up this whole edge. So what my goal today is, is to go ahead and get this cleaned up because ideally I would like to get ready to uh, refit this to the car. Um, and then also I plan on going through here and trying to clean this all up as well and get it ready for paint. Over here on the B post, it was all pretty mangled up too, as you can see. So again, I want to try to get this straightened up, cleaned up, and ready to go ahead and uh, mate the actual uh, wing to it. Um, you guys might be wondering why I'm doing this now when I've got this to tackle, but in my mind, it really is gonna be easiest for me to get my door gaps perfect uh, with having the wing on, on both sides, frankly. Um, and part of getting the door gaps perfect is getting this all perfect. Um, so it's kind of one of those things where it's like, I gotta get this done first before I can start working on this again. Uh, this is ready to go. Really all that I need to do is throw some paint on the inner B post, I'm sorry, inner A post section. Um, but I mean, frankly, that could be done at any point. So I'm just about ready to, to weld in my floors and my lower A posts. But I wanna do that by having the wings on. Hope that makes sense. Let's get cracking. So I went ahead and I test fit the uh, wing and it's not bad. Uh, there's definitely going to be some areas of improvement here. But what I'm going to do is get this cleaned up. There's a bunch of like big boogers and sticky points and pointy bits. So we're going to get that all cleaned up. We'll test it again, see how it is then. And then uh, we'll start to make some decisions as far as how to fix this up. I think on both of these though, like on both the drivers and the passenger side, when I install this, I'm going to have to kind of roll it this way. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but essentially it needs to kind of roll that way just a hair. And that's going to definitely change how the pin lines up with the door and everything. And that might give me a little more play in the door gap, which is nice. So let's get this uh, cleaned up and see what we got. All right, so I went ahead and I got this cleaned up. It's a lot better than it was before. Uh, it definitely reveals though how thin the metal is in some places, uh, which is fine because I'll have to definitely go ahead and put in some small patches as I go. But uh, I also had to clean this up quite a bit. There was the flange that was hanging here, but then there was old metal that was sitting on top of that flange and uh, it was just really thin. So it's not a big deal. I can just go ahead and slap another flange on there. That's not the end of the world. Um, so let's go ahead and put this uh, wing on and just see how it is now. Definitely not bad. Um, can't tell though, that's got to definitely, I think, come in. And that'll kind of meet up there, I suspect. 
which means that this here, like I said, it's gonna have to kind of twist out a little bit. I'm not sure how to do that. And I could try to just force it, but I don't want to, I don't want to mess things up. But the rest of the wing fits nicely. Like all along up here, it's good and tight. On the uh, wheel well, it's good and tight. So I think that really this is just gonna be the bulk of it. And as I pull it together, it's not bad. Of course, we'll have to see how it is when I put the door on. But that's pretty much where it's gonna be. Let's see if I can get a vice grip on there and hold it tight. just occurred to me. So when I put the floor in and then I put the um, inner sill strengthener and the inner sill in, I will be able to then pull this and twist it and secure it to the spot that it needs to be. Um, and then what I would do is fit the actual wing to here. So actually putting in the inner sill strengthener and the inner sill will give me a set point for this, which makes sense. Um, so I'm still going to keep my plan. I'm going to clean this all up because I do need to do that. But that actually does change my plan about putting the wings on before I go ahead and, uh, put the floor in. So change your plans. That happens though. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, try the copper backer and uh, try to start filling in some of these little holes. Uh, I had a gentleman on a previous video ask me why I don't use a copper backer, and uh, he made a good point that, you know, it's gonna go ahead and keep it from blowing through and it's gonna make it a little bit of a nicer, neater, flatter weld. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. I've tried doing it in the past and I've had minimal success. Uh, so that's why I don't really do it, but uh, let me give it a second go here and see how this works. Okay. Let's go ahead and see if we can weld this up a little bit and uh, try to fill some of these small holes. So I got the holes welded up, um, not bad. And actually from the backside, it looks pretty decent. So now what I'm gonna do is just try to flatten them out and uh, see how it looks. All right, so I went ahead and I ground those edges down and those welds and uh, it's not bad. I kind of ground through a little too much there. So I'll have to do that again, but I mean, for the most part, it's actually a pretty decent edge now. Um, and so when I place the, the panel on, it actually fits pretty well. So that's kind of how it's gonna look, I think. And uh, it actually looks as though the B post kind of, I, I think it just really needed a little bit of adjustment on the actual wing itself and not the B post because the B post looks decent now. So obviously I got a lot to fill in there. <laughs> I mean, come on, let's look at that. Here, let me see if I can adjust the camera a little bit. Um, you know, I gotta come in now, I gotta make this side. And so what I'll probably end up doing is cutting a piece of metal to fit in there. And then I'll weld it in. And then uh, I'll try to maybe do some filling here like I did before. Not here rather, sorry. And a couple spots here. But outside of that, it's actually coming together pretty decently. Not bad for 
not knowing what I'm doing, right? Let's keep pressing on. All right, so seeing as how there's a lot of just kind of like weird angles and I have nothing to go based off of, I'm gonna just try to build this out a little bit by little bit. So I'm gonna start with this for instance. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of build this out a little bit. And then from there, I'll go ahead and cut a piece to fill that section in. And then it's gonna kind of keep going. And as I go, I'll use my grinder to just kind of give it a curve. And uh, yeah, see how it comes out. Um, it's gonna be a lot of welding, but uh, I think it'll come out all right. All right, just figured I'd give you guys an update. Uh, it's about 12, 15, we're working on this for know, a little over an hour. Um, so I've gone ahead and welded in two patches so far to kind of just clean this up. I know it's not straight, but honestly it doesn't matter because this is gonna be all hidden behind the flange. I discovered that there was a bunch of lead here. Um, so I started to try to fill this in with a weld and I was like, oh man, it's all dripping. And so now I've got uh, chunks of uh, a lead they were coming out so looks like I'm going to be figuring out how to do some letting in my future because I kind of think that would be the case anyways but uh yeah there's lead here I may as well just stick with it so now uh I'm going to go ahead and put in a patch here and then I'm just going to keep on going but uh I'll tell you this thing starts to fit really nicely let me go ahead and I'll put it on real quick and I'll show you all right so uh we got the wing back on so as you can see just using one vice grip to hold it on, but uh, no longer have great big holes here. Um, and the seam is pretty consistent. It's a little bit wavy right in here, but I'll probably just flatten that out. But as you can see, it does fit a lot tighter now. And uh, so I think that as I continue to go and clean this up, it's gonna really start coming together nicely. So happy with the progress and we keep cracking. All right, so here's where I'm at at the moment. So uh, this is definitely looking a hell of a lot better. Um, and so I'm pretty happy with with the overall work. It's uh, certainly a massive improvement over what it was. Um, I also went ahead and hung the door. And the uh, door closes. Um, the only thing is though, is that uh, the gap is obviously incredibly off. And this, I don't actually think has anything to do with the door. I think this all has to do with the panel. So I suspect that what I'm gonna end up having to do is kind of do like Elon did and just give it a cut and then try to just squeeze it in just a little bit to be able to go ahead and open up that gap because it's pretty wide up there. It's no gap there. And then we're back down to a gap down here. So I think it's just the panel itself, this guy that is. Um, so that'll be something that I'll have to definitely take a look at a little bit later on. But uh, as you can see, I'm back here with the A post up on a jack, supporting it because when I let that jack down, um, this closes up and then I lose that little tiny bit of gap right there. So there's no question of the fact that when I weld this all together, I am gonna to have to have this jacked up to be able to make all these lines even. Uh, but I mean, if you look here, that's that's pretty close. The door is a little bit low. Um, and then right here, it's pretty much flush, which is more or less what I want it to be. Um, but there's really not a whole lot of play in these doors, surprisingly. I thought there was, but there isn't much. So anyways, I don't know what time it is, but it's getting late in the day. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up for the moment. And then uh, we will come back uh, either tonight or tomorrow for a little more work on the Spitfire and to wrap up the video. See you in a few. Good morning and uh, welcome back. Um, it's actually Tuesday morning now. And uh, I ended up just not having much time over the weekend. So uh, here we are. Today I'm going to go ahead and start trying to put some of the floor pieces in um, with Clicos. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of get a rough fit and start trying to piece some things together. Um, so let's get started. All right, so as you can see here, I've got the uh, holes pretty much lined up, pretty much. 
a little bit of adjustment there, but we're pretty close there. I'll have to lift this up and then shimmy it over, I think. Uh, but it's close. Pretty happy with that. Again, we're still good over there and over there. So let's get some vice grips on it. We'll go ahead and try to tighten it up a little bit and then throw a couple Clicos in. All right, so something that I'm running into is right down here. Uh, you see I got this uh, body mount and this washer. Um, this is preventing the floor from actually slipping forward all the way. So as you can see, there's a little bit of a gap there. So what I need to do is loosen this just a little bit so that way I can go ahead and try to sneak the floor forward just another quarter inch, if that. So let's go ahead and uh, loosen this guy up a little bit. Hope we don't uh, throw things out of whack. All right, well, I got the uh, mount up front here loosened up and I was able to slide the floor forward the uh, little eighth of an inch that it really needed. So now I've got my uh, radio support mount dead on. Uh, up here, we are pretty tight. There's a little tiny gap right there, as you can see, but I'm not worried about it. Uh, fitment with the lower A post seems pretty good. When I close up that firewall, Let's pull it nice and tight, put a Clico in it, should be good. Down here all through the lower A post, we're good. And then back here along the heel board, again, we are pretty good. The biggest area that I think that's gonna need some work is gonna be right here. Um, as you can see, there's a huge gap here, and this is also a little bit uh, tall. So we'll probably have to cut this down a little bit and then maybe do a little hammer dolly work to try to tighten this up a little bit, but... Um, that's really about it. Everything else though on this is fitting pretty good. So uh, pretty happy with that. Let's go ahead and see what we can do about trying to resolve this uh, first. And then uh, we'll see about trying to get this click code in before I have to wrap up for the day to go to work. All right, so um, I was able to go ahead and just cut a little tiny corner out here from this and it's kind of bent it in. And that seems to really have helped. So I was able to close that gap up for the most part. Um, when it does come time to do the install on this, I may just end up having to put a bead of weld through here, but I don't think that's going to be too big of a deal. Everything else though is pretty well lined up. Uh, pretty exciting stuff. And then I'll be mounting the radius uh, arm support bracket on. Um, I'm going to have to double check my reference pictures. I do believe it goes on the outer set of uh, bolt holes here instead of the inner set. I think the inner set's for if you have like a Rotoflex uh, suspension um, or Rotoflex uh, setup rather. So um, anyways, still lined up nicely over here. Everything seems to be really happy. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw a couple screw holes in, throw some Clicos in, and then see how it works without the vice grips on there. All right, got the cleat goes in down here. As you can see, everything is nice and tight. The uh, vice grips are off and things still look really good. I'm super happy with that. So let's keep on. All right, so I went ahead and got some cleat goes in the lower A post. Uh, it is no longer being supported by the jack, as you can see. And uh, my gaps are pretty much remaining all the same. And I got uh, the cleat goes underneath here, which are holding the floor pan up. And uh, overall, it's pretty good. I mean, I wouldn't say I would sit in this thing quite yet. Of course, we want to weld it before we do that. But man, it is definitely coming together. So I'm pretty stoked about that. One thing I wanted to talk about here again is this seam. So now, obviously, it's been a few days uh, since I went ahead and filmed the first part of the video. 
and uh, I went ahead and I asked a couple of folks and I got some advice uh, both from uh, Elon and uh, from my buddy Hazen and they both had different ideas and I'm kind of just curious what everybody else thinks too. Um, Elon recommended taking it from the uh, wing to go ahead and cheat it in. Uh, Hazen was recommending to go ahead and kind of trim the edge here just to grind this back on the door panel itself, um, which I thought well, might be a decent idea. Um, but let's take a look here. So when we come over here, we definitely do have some material that we can work with, but Elon made a good point that the door skins should be pretty much a perfect fit. Um, so I don't know. Definitely got some things going on here because if you look also in this section where it does stick out, you'll notice that I had to kind of taper in the uh, flange to make it match up to the B post. So that does make me suspect that there's too much material here and that maybe just taking some out by doing a cheat cut here and then kind of folding it in a little bit might, might help. Because really that's where things hang up. It's all right here in the middle section. So let me know what you think. All right, well, that's gonna do it for today's video. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm super happy with the progress that we made here today. Um, well, actually over this last weekend. Um, so please definitely uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Still trying to get those 500 followers. So if uh, you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Um, without further ado though, I'm gonna wrap it up. I hope that y'all have a wonderful day. And please remember, when working on cars like this, please do not be the dreaded previous owner. Cheers.